Koala Climate Corridors is an initiative that I4, together with Great Eastern Rangers, is working on to establish connected landscape right down the east coast of Australia. And to do that, we're going to partner very closely with local groups on the ground, including the Lockyer Uplands Catchment Inc. in this very first Bunyas to Water Corridor. The particular landscape that we're interested in through the Bunyas to Border initiative is a really important connector between the forests and the rainforests of the Greater Border Ranges to the south on the border with New South Wales and the Bunya Mountains to the north. The dividing rain through the Bunyas to Border area provide a really important migration route for a range of species moving north and south but also east to west in accordance with the different seasons. I think this particular part of the Great Dividing Range is special in its diversity because, partly because of its range in altitude, there's high altitude and low altitude country and the diversity of habitats. So we've got everything from rainforests, closed canopy forest, really wet landscape, through to the drier open woodlands and there are rivers and wetland systems as well. So the Bunyas to Borders project is really about creating a movement pathway for wildlife and it's really about connecting or providing stepping stones, habitat stepping stones through a very large regional landscape to allow for those wildlife movements. When we were approached to consider piloting this project on behalf of GER and I4, to me that was just something I had dreamed of for years that we could be part of a regional landscape conservation effort, that the bigger vision, a bigger vision pulls people together. It's just so motivating to be part of something bigger than your own backyard. We've partnered with a company called Great Eastern Ranges that focuses nationally for on corridors and big wide areas for animals to roam. So we've gone into partnership with them to do a little pilot study, which is the Bunyas to Borders project in this area running from Lockyer to Bunyas. Um, but it will be part of Great Eastern Ranges' big koala climate corridor, which is going to extend hopefully further south and further north doing the same sort of activities. It's funded by International Fund for Animal Welfare as well, so it's a really great collaboration that we have. This particular activity is just one of many as part of the Bunyas to Borders project. It's tree planting. We're planting about 1,600 trees in the Lockyer Valley region and we'll be planting more. I'm passionate about trying to save any animals in our environment. And so it just seemed it was going to be something that was really good, not just for me and my property, but to connect a corridor for the koalas. I love coming to events like this because you see there's so many passionate people who love this kind of work and volunteering and they love just doing something to make a little tiny bit of a difference. Anyone can be involved, whether they are a landholder who are seeking to contribute to creating a stepping stone in the habitat, in the corridor, or whether they're a volunteer, they don't have to be a landholder, but they may wish to participate in a planting project or may want to come along to a workshop and learn about particular species. Greater gliders are really important for the B2B project because they rely on that old growth forest. Now, a big objective of the B2B is to restore that habitat and connect existing old growth forest habitats across the range. Future plantings that are currently being undertaken as part of this project are future habitat for greater gliders. Not only are plantings being undertaken for this project, but also the installation of nest boxes, which can be utilised by not just greater gliders, but a range of other species, and that's really important. So we have 12 nest boxes here with us over the next couple of days that are going up for greater gliders and I have another four nest boxes which are aiming towards different parrot species, smaller gliders such as sugar gliders and squirrel gliders and then also facet gales and possums. The area is also really important for locally resident species like koala that need to be able to move around the landscape to be able to identify and locate food resources, to be able to adapt to seasonal change, but also to be able to recolonize potential habitat after they've been disturbed and pushed out of there, maybe by fire, by the presence of wild dogs or the like. Our role was to establish a, a baseline for the flora and fauna of the reserve. So over a period of probably about two years now, we've been doing some pretty intensive uh, flora and fauna surveys, and obviously the b project links in with that because of the, the arboreal mammals that, that we've found here. 
and obviously they're supporting their habitat. Bird surveys are important because they help us to manage the landscape, the habitat, the environment more effectively and comprehensively. So we need to know what's there. We need to know what are the assets, the biodiversity in our forests and woodlands if we're going to look after them and manage them properly. I love projects like this because they just provide that really important opportunity for local people to work together in their landscape, but also to be able to get an understanding of how that contributes to a much bigger effort, knowing that what they do locally is able to achieve something so much bigger than they could ever achieve on their own. If it's not people who create the stepping stones, if it's not people who conserve existing habitat, if it's not people who replenish, restore habitat to create that movement pathway, what else is there?